So surprisingly enough, yesterday we had actually received our weekly lucky draw update for Call of Duty Mobile. These typically come on a Thursday, but we actually got it on a Tuesday this week. I'm assuming in preparation for the next season coming here in the next couple of days. And it ended up being the Nauseous Draw Redux, which brings back the PDW57 Toxic Waste, which was actually a gun that I wanted to do a gameplay on in general. But that's not what we're going to be doing a gameplay on today. We're actually going to be attempting, uh, keyword, attempting to pull the DRH Sludge, the Dr. H Sludge, because if you guys take a look at this blueprint, what the hell is this weapon? Like, it looks nothing like a DRH. It's a, a no-stock extended mag foregrip and then some type of ACOG. A very strange looking weapon and honestly pretty sick so i figured we'd go ahead and pull it today you know just have an excuse to use the dr h a little bit kind of pop off it's a strong weapon always a good time to use so with that being said we are going to go ahead and start making some attempts through this lucky draw to pull that new epic and i am going to actually rage if for the first time in history i get lucky and get the legendary pretty early because i already own it as you guys can see the legendary and the character skin I got through the first time this draw came out. So fingers crossed we... Oh my gosh, it, it flashed on that. Fingers crossed we don't end up getting that. So we actually got the Cosmos Sticky Grenade. I, I guess we're getting some Cosmos skins coming back. I wonder if we'll be seeing the Locust and Razorback come back at some point. Anyway, let's go ahead and keep continuing here with this draw. So for 80 CP, come on, give me the Dr. H. Oh my gosh, it's flashing on the Legendary again, dude. It's just kind of tempting me. I don't want to like go too high up in CP just because this is an epic. But honestly, if we could get it for like the lower count of CP, it's pretty good for its price. So, um, you know, for our third draw, we ended up getting the SMRS Cosmos again. Really cool to see the whole Cosmos like theme draw. That brings us up to 300 CP here for our fourth draw. And fingers crossed, man. Come on. No, we got the Hazmat Legendary Charm. I don't want to spend that much. Okay. 500 cp this has to be the last one got one out of three chance oh my gosh we got the swerve emote what the heck this is uh the, the watch me whip now watch me nay nay what the hell they brought that into the game <laughs> dude this is a uh, starting to look like an l 800 cp oh my god what was that they changed how draws work i guess because it looked like it was about to stop on the drh and we ended up getting the mw11 l dude l but now that we have all these different like cosmos items let me know if tomorrow you guys want to see a video on like the locust cosmos and the razorback cosmos and we'll go ahead and pair them with some of the new ones that we're actually unlocking today next we get the legendary uh calling card so oh my gosh this was the biggest l I tried to get an epic through the draw, which I'm assuming we probably had like a pretty decent chance of getting. And now it's the last three items and the other two I already own. So it's genuinely the last item I could have possibly gotten that was new. And to top everything off, I don't have enough CP to unlock it for the last spin. So I'm gonna have to buy more. Can we get some L's in the comment section for my wallet, dude? What the heck? I was in my head. I was like, oh, this is a good video idea. I'll probably get the DRH and like, three spins it'll be really cheap and then it will have a banger video nope nope they're gonna make me spend pretty much the big bucks i'm gonna be pissed if i don't get it this time of course of course i got the character oh my gosh so uh wait it gave us wait so hold up did it give us 500 credits and the cp hold up oh well it brought our cost up but it did refund our amount. Regardless, our ninth pull of the draw, we got the DRH sludge. Now, this is going to be for science purposes, and this might be a big L, but we already own the PDW. It costs 3,900 CP for the final draw. We have 9,800. I want to test this out. If we spin, we'll get a refund, right? Yeah, it looks like we did because uh, our CP's back up to 9,800. So, if we went for the legendary, we would have gotten it last. So, that's at least cool to like kind of see how that works. But it refunds your CP in draws where you already own items. I did not know that. And that's actually really, really helpful to know from here on out. Because there's been a lot of Redux draws where I haven't played them, even if I wanted like one particular item like this, for example because of the fact that I was scared I would actually be spending a lot of money and then be getting a duplicate. 
but it seems like if you actually have a duplicate in the draw, they'll just refund it. So no loss. But either way, we got the hard part over. The DRH sludge is now unlocked. We're gonna go ahead and check it out here in the loadouts. And I wanna see what the blueprint actually is by default on this thing. It doesn't even have a magazine on it. So it's gonna be the three times tax scope two, no stock, Merc four grip, and stippled grip tape. By default, mobility somehow is going up. I'm assuming because of the no stock. Accuracy is down and controls are down but you still have a three times. So the controls are going to be even worse. So that leaves us room for one more attachment. Now, normally I would put on the OTM rounds, but I'm thinking since we do have a three times on this, I should just skip that for now because I'm not really going to be having too many like close range fights, or at least I shouldn't be taking too many close range fights. So we're going to go ahead and throw on the OWC tactical laser just for um, a decrease in the ADS time as well as an increase in ADS bullet spread. And this is what we're going to be using here for game number one. After this, we're going to go ahead and swap things back to like a normal good loadout. But you guys see how this weapon looks. I just had to use it with this default blueprint for one game at least. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and queue up into a ranked game and I'll see you all once I find a match. All right, game number one here, we got Shoe House, which is going to be sort of interesting to see how we perform on this map with this build because a few factors, right? We've got the DRH, which isn't a great long range weapon because of the fact that it has a pretty bad ADS bullet spread accuracy by default. But then again, we've got the three times. But then again, we've got a high mobility build with the no stock. But then again, we don't have any OTM. So just like all around, this is such a weird build. And right there, you can see like the recoil pattern and the ADS bullet spread accuracy, both just sort of being not good. So I think I might just sit my pretty little butt here for like the next 15 minutes and uh, get two kills for the win. Oh no, is that a player with a chicken shooting at me? Is that what I'm hearing? That might be the only gun I can outgun with this. Oh, yes. Our teammate got killed. He had an NA45. You know what? He deserves it. Oh, yeah. This building. This is my home for this match. Oh, okay. Another struggle about not having a magazine equipped to this is the default mag size on the DRH is only 20, which is like nothing. Got a player coming in here. Okay, counter UAV. We got more players. I hear them all. I'm going to just sit here for a second. Teammates got him. Nice. And we'll take the assist. Giving us a predator missile, which we're going to use to get a double kill. <laughs> Hell yeah, they lined up. <laughs> take that. Okay, he had no idea. Oh my gosh, I got hit markered. Yo, lucky me, lucky me. Heard that guy coming from a mile away. Spawns are flipped, I'm pretty sure, at this point. Yeah, in the building. Oh, I shouldn't have won that. It was against an ASM, yeah. I hear this guy with the chicken. Okay, I'll take this. You're gonna be like spawned up to my left and in front of me. Nice. We got another UAV. Spawns are splitting. Oh, yeah, we got two spawned up over here. Come on, freebies. We gotta reload again. Oh, I need the shield down. Okay, I got two. Both staring at me with snipers, I think. God, the ADS is so bad on this. What's this guy doing? He's right here. He just tried to smoke. Oh my gosh. Okay. Shoot a little bit there with the deagle, but we're still alive. Are they still spawning here? There's no chance, right? We got a pred. I want to go ahead and pop this before the game ends. Oh, give me that. That's a triple. And that will do it for the matchup. Hell yeah. That was a good choice. So uh, that was not a bad game one at all, especially with that build. I would never recommend anyone use that though, just because like every attachment sort of like countered the other attachment. Either way, 19 kills in that round. Not bad at all. That predator missile definitely was the reason that we had gotten way up there in kills. Um, but now, you know, it's time for us to go ahead and swap this loadout, actually build out something that's going to be good. And this is going to be our build for the next two matches. We got the MIP at light flash guard, MIP at strike stock, OWC tactical laser, 25 round OTM mag, and the granulated grip tape. This is basically a high accuracy build, as well as obviously getting the OTM mag on there for increased damage with the, you know, loss of a little bit of mobility and a little bit of vertical recoil control, not necessarily horizontal. So Overall, I would say the control is up, even though statistically it's down. And this build is just basically to go all out on that ADS bullet spread accuracy, just because, as I had mentioned like multiple times in the last round, the ADS bullet spread by default on this weapon is pretty trash. So this is going to give you a little bit more power at longer distance, as well as still a really fast time to kill up close because of the OTM mag. Game number two, our weapon is instantly looking like 10 times better. We've got Summit, 
which should be a pretty good one here for what we've got. It's also really nice to have those extra five rounds in our mag. Uh-oh. Yo, hold up. Counter thermite. Yes. Yes. <laughs> They're going to come out here in a second. I feel like the iron sight's a little bit strange on this thing. Like, it almost feels like it's lower than normal. I don't know. I don't really use this weapon all that often. Definitely, I can say it feels like a thousand times better than it did last round, though. Standard wasn't really too high. <laughs> oh, we got like four players in front of us. One with a sniper, another one behind him. Okay, Shock RC, if you can stun one of those players, just give me a little bit of like breathing room here to drop the shield and heal. That'd be great. We're just going to keep listening around. My shield just got blown up by a rocket launcher. This, that guy's a certified psycho. Go ahead and take that. There's a three-shot beam right there. Oh, come on, Alex. Sort of beaming. Thank you. Let's see if we got more. Your footsteps down low. Where are they pushing from? I was about to say, they only had two options. Either come from where the shield is or come from down low. It took their sweet time, but they eventually pushed down low. I'm going to try to like, push out the spawn point. Kind of UAV. I'm going to see what the shock RC does. Oh. Close fight. Just on this player. Teammate. Oh, I'm dead. Tango down. Has been yeah, those things are so annoying. Staying alive, though. Got players below us. I still see him spawning in as well. Kill this guy in the back, and then we'll turn around and try to get him again off spawn. Got five more kills till the game ends, so I might be able to actually like, stay pushed up on this. Or not. Oh, I'll take that, man. There we go. We got the final two. GG's. Yeah, we closed out with 24 that round. I knew we had a lot of kills, and that was with no, like, lethal score streaks as well, so pretty good game. And everyone, that is where we go ahead and call it here for today's video. Just because of how late I'm playing at night right now, I'm really struggling to find matches. I keep max queuing, timing out, so I figured we'd go ahead and call it here on the gameplay a little bit early since we do have Season 3 coming out soon, and we're going to be more than making it up on the gameplays in those videos so thank you all so much for tuning in as far as like a final thoughts go here on the drh sludge it's sort of what you expect out of one of the lucky draw epics you know no animation no custom iron sights just sort of like a plain toxic theme skin so overall i would give it like a, a five out of ten nothing too special but you know i i had to get it for that basic blueprint the the default blueprint that came with this weapon just because of how crazy it looked can we actually like reset it back to that yeah, look at this thing. So it was definitely just worth it for the content. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and give this loadout here a shot just to sort of like experience it for yourself and maybe rage a little bit, feel free to go ahead and copy it here. But uh, once again, everyone, that is going to go ahead and do here for myself. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And I'll catch you all in the next one.